Seminara. We're here in New York City where over 400,000 people go each day without eating. They're hungry. They need shelter. What we're going to do is find some people on the street, feed them, help them out. We're going to check out a local organization that feeds people by the thousands. Over 400,000 people in New York City are hungry every day. You know, and that's why I'm walking around with this cart. We're going to find some people that are hungry in the city and feed them. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing, we're doing pretty good, we're yeah. Doing pretty, pretty good. How you doing? Hungry? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, too. Well, I got some uh, almonds. What do you do about almonds? You like almonds? Love almonds. Love almonds. Yeah. So here you have mobile unit. And this unit can be taken anywhere. I've taken this all over the city. Now, what we got here is a totally affordable kitchen here, equipped with ice. We start off with my handy dandy little chair here. We don't play around here. Let me show you a little bit about our kitchen. What we got going on here. We got our onions, peppers, broccoli, capers. I got some goat cheese here. And it's all refrigerated. There are over a thousand soup kitchens and food pantries in New York City and 2,700 in the state of New York, serving two million New Yorkers annually. All right guys, first thing you gotta know about an omelet. All right. Stove lights, you gotta work in stove. <laughs> Put your pan on there, this one's off. Now we got some olive oil. This ain't your regular olive oil, 100 percent gold virgin. Oh man, this is the good stuff. Extra virgin. Extra virgin. Either you're putting like butter on this baby or good quality oil. Alright, now we got our cup. Yeah, we got we we left the sausage out, but we take care of it either way. Omelets are simple and easy to make. With just a few simple ingredients, you can make a delicious breakfast. You got parents sitting sitting What's that? You got parents sitting sitting You got everything here, man. You got everything. All right, now. Three eggs, you guys, three eggs good? Yeah. This is street cooking right here. You gotta tell these people, why go into these restaurants? They can get great food right here. <laughs> Now, pass, pass this goat cheese around, guys. It's good quality stuff over there, right? Making your omelet right today. Start off with some onions in there. A little bit of this fruit I told you about. This fruit makes it nice and sweet, bleeds into the oil. I wonder if we go back. Get some more oil in there. We like this nice and greasy. What about broccoli? You like broccoli in this baby? Gotta have some of that broccoli, man. Get that fiber going on. Right, we need just a little more oil up in this. You know, in the five-star kitchen, you would have all that, all that broccoli diced up. Yeah, but you know what? We got it going on right here, man. Putting these restaurants to shame. They better be careful. We might put these restaurants out of business today. Hey, you know what? Somebody might come over for an omelet. <laughs> All right, now capers. You ever have capers in your omelet before? No. I don't know. Capers are these little berries. They grow on it. They're, they're salt and vinegar they have in there. They're used in like chicken picante, stuff like that. It gives gives a good sweet and sour flavor to the uh, to the omelet. Yeah, but you know what? Today I'm street cooking. Yeah. I like this a lot better. There's no tension. You know, I don't have like the New York Times behind me. I got good people critiquing. All right, so I think we're ready to add our eggs. We're just gonna turn this fire up a little bit more. We're gonna get those onions brown. We're gonna put this cheese in there too, though. What's that? Oh yeah, we're gonna put that cheese in there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be bad. Let's 
That's right. Definitely gonna put that cheese. Okay, there goes. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There is the eggs. What are those? What's that? Those are chicken eggs. Those are chicken eggs. Brown eggs. Organic. Organic, organic eggs, man. You gotta, you gotta watch out what you're putting into the system. You know what I mean? Hey, you gotta open this cheese. Yeah, I gotta open that cheese. Can't forget about that. What we're gonna do is take this cheese. We're gonna put it right in the middle of the omelet. Now, see, the, the trick about an omelet is to make sure you got as much of the egg all over the pan. You don't want to flip this thing and have it go all over the place. We're almost ready to go there. All right, now it's time to flip this baby over. Whoa, look out. Now we put the goat cheese in there. Now, you guys seem like you goat cheese lovers. Yeah. So I'm putting this whole thing in there. This is herb goat cheese. It's from Cypress Grove. Good stuff. And I used to live in Cypress Hill. <laughs> All right. The good thing about goat cheese is it melts good with an omelet. Yeah, it does look good. There you go. You gotta fold that over. Get that juice is melting that in is there. A good that's real good. You know, that's, that's that, that is. You gotta put the oil on it, you know what I'm saying? Make it nice yeah, and nice and good. You gotta get some flavor in that piece. But you know what I do? I get one of them non-stick pans. Yeah, this is non-stick too. Yeah. yeah, you can't lose with these things. You spray it a little more oil. Now look at that. Got a little sanitation yeah. <laughs> towel there. Okay, we're almost ready to go, boys. See, everybody's smelling this walking by. They're hungry. All right, right in half. Oh, woo! Man! Look at that! Joy, my friend. You go first. According to the legend, Napoleon and his army traveling through France were the first people to feast on what was called the omelet. Now tell me the truth, what you think about it, guys. Don't lie. We'll see. Don't lie. Let's it's hot. Watch your mouth. Hey. Mm, this is really good. Hmm. Couldn't afford this. What? <laughs> Couldn't afford this without knowing what it was. Hey, some napkins, guys. Mm. Thank you. I, I can definitely afford it. Well, I can afford to make this by myself. This is a two Does this combination cabin. come in a name? It's called the street omelet. The street omelet. Yep. OG street omelet. Yeah, I guess so. I think it's really awesome that you show people how to cook on the street. It's, you know, it showed them how the, the the omelet is, how you can just make a quick omelet, and it's, it's healthy too. I'm gonna go try to make, make me money to go get something to drink right now. Tonight, try to get, try to go to a shelter. Joe, that was really, really part of my day I'll never forget. And I, I <laughs> it was good. I mean, I, I'm around here a lot and I, um, I thank you. I really appreciate it, I really do.